Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 91, Most Profitable Path in the Tree. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prompt. So uh, just to be clear, I um, I assume you read the prompt, right? Um, because I'm not going to really explain, or I'm not going to really read the prompt for you, but I am um, going to start by drawing. Um, this is actually... Um, in disguise, uh, a sort of a shortest path problem because the the key thing to note is that the two things you want to do, right? So I'm I'm just getting my drawing stuff ready. Um, th th so there are two things you want to do. One is, uh, it's a shortest path problem in a way, right? Um, because basically, um, well, okay, let let me step back a second. There's, so the two people, Alice and Bob. Bob starts at a random. Or not random, but an inputted in uh thing. So let's just say it's I don't know whatever here, right? And Bob has no choice. Bob has to you know figure out how to move toward the top, right? Um, and like I and there's no choice there, meaning that this is no if if Bob stops here, this is time zero. This is time one. This is time two, right? Dot dot dot. So that's basically the idea, uh, for Bob. Um, is try to figure out how to do this, and we'll talk about the implementation. But you know I don't think there's anything interesting with Bob from this for now. Um, the, then the second part is Alice, right? Alice, in, in a way, this becomes the shortest path because it's just now, okay, well, that Alice is always at zero. So then now this is, you know, and then you try to figure out all the times it goes here. So this is zero, this is time one, this is time two, this is time two, this is time three, right? So basically these are the, the things that happen. And then the question then is, well, um, because Bob will always move and Alice will always move toward a leaf, there's no choice in either case. Well, there is a choice where Alice gets to choose which leaf and we can brute force on it. And we'll talk about how to brute force on it uh, in a way. Or not brute force, brute force, but like try for every leaf, right? But So we'll talk about that in a second. But let's say that we are able to try every leaf in good time. And I think n is, let me take a look at, I forget to look at the limit because mine is linear time. But n is 10 to the fifth. So if you do a naive try every um, leaf, it's going to be n squared. That's too slow, right? So we, we'll do that. But, um, and that's basically this, this, this is a kind of a terrible, um, so I'm moving the mic so that, whatever. This is kind of a terrible uh, diagram, or it's not a very interesting tree. So let me draw another one, right? A little bit real quick. Um, and it doesn't have to be a binary tree, but I am just, you know. Um, I don't know, this is very random off my head, right? So basically the idea is that, let's say we have uh, Bob here, you know, going up, going up, going up, so zero, one, two, three. Then the idea here is that we just try everyone for Alice, right? So let's say we start here, then we go here. Um, and because the, it is forced, we know that if we go down, let's say we, we want to try for Alice going to here, right? So here, here. So then this is zero, one, two, three, right? Um, if we go down this path and we always have to move toward one leaf, um, I've, yeah, I, I thought that this part of the problem was a little bit unclear, to be honest, but but because I, I was just rereading it again, just in case I misread it and I have to resubmit. But but the idea is that okay, let's say this is the path you chose, then then you know that here uh, Alice got here too late, and Alice got here too late, and then you have this thing where it, it counts at zero, right, or something like this for the gates or whatever score that they have. So that's basically the idea. And of course, if Alice just goes the other path of here, 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 um, Bob has not touched it at all. If it goes to this node, then it only this node overlaps because this one Bob is not here, right? So you can kind of think about all these scenarios. And all these scenarios, because if whatever leaf node you chose, there's no, it is the shortest path, right? You have to take the shortest path there. And therefore, there's no choice for Alice once you choose a leaf node, and therefore, um, the time that Bob takes to get to a node, and the time that Alice gets to a node, you just have to make that comparison to to do the tie-breaking rules. 
So that's basically the idea, and we'll go over um, the code in a sec. Um, but yeah, but basically, um, yeah, we'll go over the code, and this is what I do. So um, this is to set up the edge list to convert this edge list to an adjacency list, which is more um, more readable for me anyway. And then here's a, a basic depth of search. Um, so this one does two things. One is to get the time. This is the time that we talk about for Alice. So for Alice, you start with node zero, which is here, uh, no parents, oops, oops, and the current time is zero. So then now every time you go to a child, it, you increment the time and you know, you, you, and that's what basically this is, this does and this does, right? You increment the time to, to see like, okay, but this is the earliest time I could get to this node. And because it is a tree, we don't have to check where there's node, you just don't go up the tree. Um, and then the other part is that I set up the parent. So the parent is just basically so that you can look up the parent of the of the shortest path tree starting from zero. This is this is so that we can figure out the the, um, the path that Bob takes, right? And here we have a B time for Bob time, and yeah, and you start with Bob, and then you just keep on. Well, you know, you you uh, yeah, you increment the time as you go up to the parent. Actually, I guess you don't really need this, but I, I, I or you don't need this after this, but uh, but maybe it's easier to read anyway. But yeah, so you set the time as you go to the current time, um, and then you go up the tree by going to the parent of the current node, right? So you keep on going until the current is, um, I think this is technically wrong now that I look at it. It should be negative one because then, um, then that's the root node. But the only reason why this is correct is that technically there has to be two nodes, right? Yeah, n has to be two, so then um, the root node will never be halved because because Alice always starts at node zero, right? And always will beat Bob. So th that's a slight inaccuracy, though it doesn't change the answer. Um, so and I just noticed this now, so it's not like me, yeah. You know, so thank thankful for that. But yeah, but here, basically, if Bob gets there before Alice, we set the amount to zero. If they get there at the same time, we divide it by two. It's a, it's an even number, so, so you don't have to worry about, you know, rounding error or whatever. And then after that, we just do a depth first search. This is now the shortest path, but the shortest path, um, instead, or this is not, or this is not a shortest, well, it is the shortest path with negative numbers, but also, or actually max, max score path, but, um, but it's actually enumerate every path on a tree, right? It's a traversal of the entire tree. I say depth, depth of search, but it's, it's just a regular traversal of the entire tree. Um, we basically, this is just to count like how many times you go down. And if, if, um, if this is a leaf, then we just, you know, get the best current score. Otherwise you add the current amount to the score and so forth. Um, and yeah, and this is just going down as well for the stack. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then at the end you return best. And of course you have to remember the zero node. I always forget sometimes. So yeah, um, as you can see from here, what's the complexity, right? Well, um, this is a tree. So edges is gonna have all of N number of nodes, not N squared, just to be clear, right? Because it's a tree. So it's gonna have N minus one edges exactly, right? Um, so this is going to be linear time, linear space. You could kind of, you know, figure that out here. This is a traverse of the tree. So this is linear time and linear space or O of H to height of the tree, if you want to go that way. This is O of, um, o of N as well, because you can think about a length list and Bob will just traverse all the way up. But it's O of N in the worst case, because it just linked list is the worst case. Um, this is also O of N in that this is just another choice of the tree. So we, we do three or four or five, depending on how you want to count like these, uh, but we do a constant number of linear time um, operations. So this is going to be linear time, linear space in total. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Um, remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and, I, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Zero to minus one.
what are the notes of the edges? Okay, fine. Is, is that about okay? So Bob Oops two. Okay. It's not hard, it's just annoying. Okay, for a cute play, maybe. Maximize net income. So it doesn't even matter about what Bob got.
なおいしいだけよなんかうん。Six is right. Oh, because this is negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if this is right, to be honest. The idea should be right, but I might have it off by some weirdness. Okay, good. <coughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Hope you had a good contest and yeah, let me know what you think. See ya.